I want to start building this. A shop air filter. I've got a really rudimentary sawdust collection, but if we come over here and have a look at the side of the truck, you can see very clearly got a bit of a, a dust problem in here and I need to take care of that because when I get busy in here, I don't want to be breathing this stuff in when I take off my respirator. Everybody's seen me using that. So I'm going to make a little bit more dust today making that, or at least making the parts for it. And as you can see, I got this design from YouTube, from a YouTube channel called The 3D Handyman. People should go over there and check him out. He's got a lot of great ideas, and one of them being this air filter system that he's created. This is the one that cycles the greatest amount of air. I think it takes a 14 inch high volume drum fan that you would put on top here and you put your filters obviously in those slots there around the structure. So that's what I'm up to today. With any woodworking project, there's a lot of setup concerning the saws. Quality setup makes it easy to make these vertical and horizontal slats. A good air filter is not going to stop all this fine dust. I still need to improve my sawdust collection system and that will address the sawdust that falls beneath the saw and to a certain extent address the fine dust. But the air filter is to address the dust and the particles that gets into the atmosphere of my shop and hang around. The air filter will literally with a matter of 10 minutes suck up, recycle the air and clean it so I can walk around in there, like I said, within 10 minutes and not have to wear my respirator.
assembling the frame pieces now. This one's glued up. And they'll go like that, like that. And that one's to be put together still. So there's the unit assembled on what I'm calling the base. So I've got the base attached and I've got the four legs. You can see I've got a screw that goes into that leg. Same thing on each, each leg. And what I'll do is I'll caulk. This is no more glue, sorry, no more nails adhesive. How about that finger? So that's an adhesive and what I'll do is I'll caulk those as well just to make sure there aren't any air leaks in this frame. Now I've got the second in place, the second uh, frame piece here. Using the clamps, I was able to rest those members and then screw them in as well, you can see, on an angle into the joint there and into that tall member there. It's coming along okay. I'm gonna do this without pre-drilling and uh, let's hope that's not a regret that I have in a minute or so. Four wheels are attached. Let's back up here, flip it over. There we go. That's how the filtration system will be mobile and I'll move it around on the floor next to the machine that I'm using at any, any given time. This one's coming together slowly and it's coming together slowly because the filters and the fan are going to be a week in shipment. Don't ask me why those two items, but uh, those two items are taking a long time. One, the jumbo site is having a hard time getting those to me. Purchasing the fan became a bottleneck and a challenge for the project. Solution, jump in the car and head to the States. I bought this great Caterpillar fan and then headed home. Declared it at the border. Customs and uh, Border Patrol Canada was nice. They didn't charge me the duty on it. Multi-speed industrial level fan and the idea is to put this to work. The air is going to be sucked into the system and what I need to do now is I've traced it out. I need to cut that out and then figure out a way to get this to sit here. I'm not going to... There's the hole for the fan. So what I've done is I've caulked all the joints. Not the prettiest caulking, but not bad. All the way up. And then of course I'm gonna put the top on now with a layer of caulking there as well.
Got some foam tape. Foam tape is going to go on the top here and the fan unit will sit on top of that. Oh, nice and sticky. Perfect. That's how that sits on there. It's arrived. Now, what's important about these filters is you can see it says 16, 20, one inch thick. The actual is 15 and a half, 19 and a half, and three quarters. That's important because these dimensions, as provided in the drawings, I believe this one is bang on 15 and a half, so that just fits in there. That's snug on that side there. Of course, you fit it so the two can go in there. And on the other side here, I believe it's actually a little big. So I think my dimension here is about 15 and three quarters. So you get about an eighth gap on each side. But as indicated or as shown on the video that the guy does on his channel, which again, I think is 3D Handyman, he just uses tape to set them all in place, which means that there's no air gap or air, air leakage in the system. That looks fantastic. Let me get those in place and see what it actually looks like. And that's, so there's a little arrow there for airflow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have that arrow facing out because the idea is that once my fan arrives, I'm gonna be cutting a hole here at the top, mounting it. It's going to draw the air into the box and therefore push out through the filter. So that's why the arrow needs to be pointed out. So these are just cardboard, we wanna be gentle as we snug these in. All right, they're all taped in. And again, this is the way 3D Handyman did it originally on his, and then he subsequently went back and attached a number of toggles that hold the filters in place. I'm gonna get the fan on top, and then we're gonna do a test run. Fingers crossed that the fan pressure does not blow out the filters. Okay, time for a test run of the air filtration system made using the designs from 3D Handyman. And this is a Caterpillar 14 inch drum fan on top, four speed setting. Let's have a look over here. There's the four speed right there and let's turn it on. God knows why it goes from zero and then the one's way down here. So you actually have to work through the settings to get to one. Anyways, let's go to number one. Air is being sucked in, nice and easy. Should be coming out through the... Actually, I can feel that. Let's go up to two. No problem. Tape is holding in place. Number three. No stress on the system whatsoever. Number four. No problem whatsoever. We've definitely got air coming through the filters and there's gonna be filtration going on. There it is running. I am super pleased with the way that's turned out. Big thanks to 3D Handyman who created this system. 
I've got the link in the video and in the description of the video. This looks to be a fantastic system. Again, big thanks to 3D Handyman. Next time you see this one, it'll be in use. Take care. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a good week. I did not design this dust collection system, air filtration system. It comes from a guy on YouTube who's got a YouTube channel called The 3D Handyman. I don't know if that focuses on that and you can see it. I'll put a link in the video, but I want to emphasize that he produces this great little plan. All the dimensions, all of these rails and styles come off of this plan. Very straightforward. You should go and check out the video for this build because this guy does a whole load of testing, CFM testing, does a set of tests concerning the different types of fans that he recommends using, the size of the box, etc. And what you end up with after you build this, you end up with an air filtration system that is essentially better than most store-bought options in the $300 to $1,000 range. I'm going to be about $200 all in on this system, maybe $230. I'm looking back here at the, the filters that I've got sitting on the floor back there. Maybe around $230 Canadian all in when all is said and done. If you're good with tools and you've got the equipment to cut these pieces to the dimensions that 3D Handyman has listed on his sheet here, you end up with a fantastic or hopefully a fantastic air filtration system. So I heartily recommend, go check out the videos and I'll put a link here uh, from 3D Handyman. I want to give full credit to him for the design.